y'all. My pickleball. Tobin, where are you going? Right. To the park. To the park. All right, we're gonna go meet Papa and Elias at the park, and we're gonna go play some pickleball. We haven't done that forever. Mom stayed home back at the ranch to do a little editing. Tyler, are you back there? Yeah. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Wait, I see you. There you are. Hello. All right, so I'm a little scared because I'm tired from playing hockey, so we'll see how I do. Probably not very good. Dude. Photo went viral. Ooh, nice serve. Oh, I got that one though. Oh. Pulling your paddle. Oh, wait a minute. Trying to get a date or something. Guys? Yeah. Who's the pick who wants to play pickleball? I really do. Ooh, we're gonna get you out there next. How about you? No pickleball for you? What? How come? Oh man, and you are great at pickleball. I really want to play. Oh yeah, get there, get there, get there. Oh yeah, Give it to me. Ooh, hey, hit it. Oh yeah, nice hit. Hit it. Oh, nice hit. Hit it right to me. Ah. Those are pickleball beats. Pickle beats. Head. Okay, you're out. <laughs> there you go. It's in. It's out. <laughs> no. All right, so happy new year. I don't know. Anyways, we are on our way to the airport to pick up my parents because they are just finally getting in. They're supposed to be here on what, Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. And their flight got canceled, and they're like, tough luck, it's the only flight going out. So they had to find a new airline last minute and today was as soon as they could get in. So we're gonna go pick them up and drop them off at home and maybe go visit my niece at work. And then we're gonna go try to figure out what we're gonna do for New Year's because we still have no plans and it's almost five. So I think Josh's parents are gonna come over and we're gonna hang out. But for now, we're gonna go pick up my parents and then take it from there. All right, guys, big day in the Smith household. Uh-oh, we got a leak. Watch out, bub. So I replaced the pump that broke and it's apparently leaking, but it's that little white thing right there. So I replaced that guy. Not sure where we got a leak from. We're gonna have to get to the bottom of that. It's the first time that we've uh, had the dishwasher running. Okay, and you can actually see water spurting out of there. So I hope I didn't buy a bad part because that's not cool. I'm hoping it's just a bad o-ring and I have a different o-ring that I can put in it but you can see the water blowing out of there so that's not good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, kind of stinks in there a little bit. Gonna add a couple drops of that tea tree oil. I think it stinks just because the water's been sitting there for so long. We haven't used this thing for a month or so and let it kind of run that through the system. So I'm just gonna let it fill with water and kind of do its thing for a few minutes. So far I don't see any water on the ground. So that's cool, it would be coming from like right here. In case you're wondering where I'm at, I'm on the floor, me and the dog. There's the dog down there. Real quick, uh, we will leave a link for the doTERRA oils if you're interested. We use them for just about everything. All right, well, I'm gonna call this a success because I have no water puddling up, so that's cool. I have let this thing run for like, I don't know, probably 10 minutes I've been laying on the floor. I ran it less than that last time and I had that big puddle that you saw, so. I'm gonna call it good. I'm gonna let this thing run through its like one hour cycle. Monitor it, make sure it doesn't fail, doesn't throw any more air codes because it was throwing like a, a drain air code. So I think we got it fixed. And then if we do have it fixed, I'll just put the kick plate back up down here. There's two screws, pop that back on and call it good. And then we'll be able to use our dishwasher again. Thank you.
salsa. It's not Johnny Cash, bro. No, I can't leave it. Christmas over. That's what we got for all my records. Yeah. Woo. Our dishwasher is fixed. Josh fixed our dishwasher. Baby, I love you. Did it. That was the true Christmas present. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> To decide, and you have to is. try to guess what it is. Well, what is the parameters like? I mean, I'm just oh, gonna it's guess anything, okay? Um, like you have to guess who the artist is and what the song is. Tanya Tucker, one. Or oh, one. you're gonna play something. I thought you were just gonna pull it out and I have to like be psychic. No, I'm gonna play it. Oh, okay, ready to guess? I'm putting one on. All right, hurry up. I mean, I'm not gonna so, get any under 45. Hold on there, buddy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Uh, this has to be... Deborah. <laughs> Debbie Jones or Debbie Jones? Debbie Jones. Debbie Jones. <laughs> there she is. Just say it's the same. Is that right? I think. Okay, so each one has a crappy song and each one has like a good hit. It's the crappy one. Wait, there's each of these like records only has one song on it? Dude, it's two songs, one on each side. I didn't know that either. I know, it's sad. I didn't know that was a thing. And I don't think this one's very good. It's all scrappy. It's not. I don't like it. Who is it? Is it Tanya Tucker? Yeah, it's Dennis. <laughs> I feel like that, that voice looks like a Dennis. I don't think either of these are hits. I'm gonna skip this one. And it's also really ugly. Okay, okay, let's see if we can get this one. <laughs> I'm not cancel, it's beautiful. That was beautiful? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Put a Josh pile and put a regular pile. Love, oh, this is specially written Love Sue. Mm. Boy named Sue? Annie's song. Oh, it's like John Denver. No. Oh, John Denver. Great. I don't want to listen to that crap. And everything's bright. Everyone, <laughs> stop looking like that. Yeah. Spirits stop are light. <laughs> I am sitting here. We need a new husband. <laughs> this time, hey, pour me some, man. Do you remember? When we were alone, the talk of the town. When I'm sitting here drinking, I can't help but think. Did you see this? That's my poor. Look at yours. Let's compare. Well, that's a good toast. Ready? It's wrong here. You don't like champagne. I don't. This is a perfect mouth. tradition is we usually pray in the new year right before it's midnight so we're gonna do that and then we'll cheers to a new year father we love you we thank you for this night we thank you for 2022 and all the challenges and growth you brought to us lord um, oh God.
I am lost in my memories Pouring the hours away Thanks for bringing the New Year's with us. We hope you guys have a wonderful New Year and we're so excited for the rest of the next year. We just wish you guys a prosperous and healthy and just spiritually awesome New Year coming up in 2023.